Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 3A2, linked to list random node. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here we have taken the first example from the Leetcode website. So, we need to select any node from our linked list with equal probability. Right? We need to select any node. Can select any node and we need to return that node at the end but we need to select that particular node with equal probability and we are given a head of a linked list where get random function will be called so whenever the function is called we need to select a, any node from our linked list with equal chance right now we will see how we are going to do this so initially i will be having three variables one is count which is initialized as zero then result variable which is initialized as none then i will keep my current pointer as the head node right then i'm going to use random.randint function to generate random integers with the given range and here count is inclusive right so for example if i have a range one to two right i need to select one between 1 and 2. So what is the probability of selecting 1 between 1 and 2? It is 0.5, right? We are giving equal chance. That's what we need to do. So whenever we select 1, we are going to place that particular node as my result. Right? So what I mean by the node? It can be any node. The current pointer is pointing. That will be my result. Right? So the result will be different for everyone. It can be any random node from the given linked list. I will show you guys how you are going to do this. So first I will increase my count. Count will be one now, right? So now I need to select one between the range one and one. So obviously I'm going to get one. So when I get one, I will update my result as the current node that is one right now I will move my current pointer to the next node so our count is one now then again I will increase my count my count become two now I have a range one comma two so between one and two I need to select one so basically we are giving equal chance of selecting 1 and 2 to select 1. So each integer has a probability of 0.5 to get selected. Right? Equal chance. Assume our rand int function gives 2, not 1. We are not going to update our result. Right? But I will move my current pointer to the next node. This is my current pointer. Now I need to increase my count. Now it becomes 3. So my range increases. My range is now 1 to 3. So between 3 numbers 1, 2 and 3 I need to select 1. What if our rand in function gives 1? Right? Then I will make the current pointer node as my result node and I will move my current pointer which is none. I am going to return result we are done with the linked list right so we need to return the result variable finally right so what if we have got three we were having one as the node right at the start we have to return one so everyone gets the different answer we can select any node that's what the problem is right now let's see the code so before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we need to initialize head, right? Then we are initializing count variable as zero at the start. Then result will be none. Then we are going to have the current pointer which is pointing to the head node at the start then we are going to iterate through the linked list right by moving our current pointer 
so first we will increase our count which is basically we are increasing our range so i'm going to check whether the integer that has been selected with an equal probability between one and count range is equal to my one if the function selects one then the current node value will be the result and i'm going to move my current pointer to the next node and each and every iteration so whatever node we have selected that will be our result right i think it's fine let's run the code so the time complexity will be order of n and space is constant space thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys